We begin at five with a major update in a case the Target 12 investigators have been tracking since day one. A Cranston man who admitted to his role in torching a Providence police cruiser is sentenced to three years in federal prison. Nicholas Scaglione took part in the June 2020 riots in the wake of the killing of George Floyd. Scaglione used lighter fluid to help set the police vehicle ablaze. Target 12 investigator Tim White was in federal court today and is here now with the latest. In court today, federal prosecutor Paul Daly told the judge that Scaglione's actions not only endangered the lives of the people there that night, he hijacked a peaceful protest, helping to turn it violent. Mr. Scaglione, how are you feeling this morning? Doing all right. What are you going to tell the judge today? Uh, whatever I have to. Walking into federal court Thursday, 32-year-old Nicholas Scaglione would soon learn he would have to spend three years in prison for this. <laughs> An FBI investigation revealed Scaglione took part in setting Providence Police Cruiser number 708 aflame. Rhode Island U.S. Attorney Zachary Cunha attended the sentencing. And what this defendant did put the lives of Providence police officers and Providence citizens at risk and frankly dishonored a long and proud tradition of peaceful protest in this country. Mr. Scaglione, what's your reaction to the sentence? Um, I got no comment at this time. Thank you, though. Do you want to explain why, why you made that decision that night at all? Um, not really. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Do you believe he regrets his actions from that night? Absolutely. Scaglione's attorney, William Dimitri, asked for a lighter sentence but says in the end three years was fair. Prosecutors were seeking nearly four years in prison. He's regretted it every day since. No question in my mind. He's sorry for what he did. And he really is, as I said. He's, a, he's just a, a good kid who, again, made life-altering bad decisions on June 2nd, two years ago. Another man, Louis Joel Sierra, has also been charged for the cruiser burning. A federal judge found Sierra incompetent to stand trial and ordered him into treatment. Scaglione will be on two years probation when he is released from prison. Scaglione was also ordered to pay the Providence Police Department $52,000 for the destroyed cruiser. He's scheduled to report to federal prison on September 14th. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News.